Hello wonderful people and welcome back to another Build With Bar tutorial. This week I'm going to be showing you how to build this magical fairy mushroom house. It's a fairly complicated build but if you go step by step and pause when you need to, you can create something as grand and as beautiful as this. Let's get building. For this build you'll need the materials on your screen now. Begin by creating the base of your house. Leaving the back right hand corner open, this is where it's going to join onto the mushroom. Then create a layer of stone bricks, the wall's going to sit on top of this, coming to the same edge, and fill in the floor. I'm using strip spruce logs for this build. For this corner section, just kind of um, join it at a diagonal like this. Now use birch logs to create corners of your build, five high. And these two half walls build up with some birch and fill in with stripped birch. This kind of looks like weatherboards. On the top one, switch to birch planks. For this side here, leave room for a window. One from the front of the build. just like this. On this longer side wall, fill it in, leave room for two windows. There should be a four block gap between the two windows. And on the front, leave room for a door and one more window. Now to add the roof line for our house. Use forward facing birch logs for a bit of interest and smooth sandstone which works really well with the, um, the birch colour palette. Then on the front side, create a point like this and break a window in one up. Mirror this point on the back side as far as you can go. Now to work on the stem of the mushroom. For the base, create a circle, just like this one. Mushroom stems are a bit tricky to work with, so if you place one next to another and it comes up with a funny face, you can always go back and replace it later. Then create the next layer. Build round in circles and it'll be much easier. And make sure it connects to the walls each time. And one more layer just like that. Continue with circles of decreasing size using scaffolding blocks when necessary.
You can already see the mushroom shape taking form. When we're coming up to the height of the roof here, just leave that section out and we can fill it in later. We've reached the narrowest part of the mushroom and so now it's time to start coming out again. Up we go. Three. One, one, one. Three again. One, one, one. And two to finish off. Very subtle differences really add such great shape to something like this. Is a scaffolding block to come out for this layer. Whoops! There we go. Next layer up, we're almost there. Time for the final two layers. These are the same so you can build both at the same time. Oh, I broke one down there. Whoops. a roof before connecting the mushroom stem to the rest of the house. This is going to stick out two from the wall and use stone stairs underneath to smooth it out. Go right up to this edge here. And then use slabs for the top. Leave the front section open because we're going to add a decoration there. 
Now that you have a rough idea of where the roof line is going, connect this corner of the mushroom, being sure to check what the other sides look like to make sure it's symmetrical. You can use some scaffolding blocks to help you. See how it's connecting along? And finish off the top. Now that the mushroom stem's finished, we continue on with the rest of the roof. It'll be much easier to join it now. We can curve the stairs in on this part to make sure it has a smooth look. Create a small dormer window on the left hand side. Use a red mushroom block for a bit of a pop of colour. And then create the rest of the roof. If you create the roof for the dormer window while you do the roof for the rest of the build, you can easily see how it connects. And don't forget to add some stone stairs underneath for a smooth look. The dormer window should be at the same height as the rest of the roof. And we just have to add our stone stairs under here. We'll add some decorations to the build in a bit. But first, rotate round to the side and create this little other section of the build. First, by creating some stilts, because it's coming out of the side of the mushroom. Four high with the fences. And then one, two, three, four, five on top of each one. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can create a base for your story here. And then use some stone brick stairs mossy slabs to tie in with the other part of the build. Finish up this section of the wall and mimic the other wall shape like we have down here, the other wall style, up the top with some windows. Birch slabs on the front where they'll be visible. And a tiny squished in window here. 
sideways birch logs and create the base for the roof that's going on this build. Just like that. Roof time! Decoration time. Start with the door and use some lecterns to create a door frame. Now for some window decorations. Also using lecterns. Lecterns have a great shape and they also have a touch of red if you're looking from the side, which works well with the mushroom blocks. Speaking of mushroom blocks, place one in the window. For this tiny window up here, add a little planter. For this small window up here, break the block and add a red mushroom block to tie it all together. Cut these smaller windows, use the lectern and a red mushroom block as well. Go ahead and use these window designs to finish off the rest of the windows. If you want a little extra colour, replace this block here with a mushroom block with a trapdoor over the top, as well as this one here. And we're also going to add a little swoopy point at the same time to finish off the roof line. Or I might bring it out one like this. On the flat sides, build out three with some white uh, stained terracotta, and then three to either side. One, two, three. Two, three and connect it back to the top of the mushroom. For each of these corners, build out three, one block in from the edge, and then connect it. Now for the mushroom top. Use red terracotta because it's nice and bright, vibrant. And build one out on each of the flat faces. The mushroom top will finish one below the white terracotta section. Let's build up in layers. I prefer to add my spots in after, but if you like to add them as you go, that's fine too.
continue making a smooth dome. It helps if you think about these layers as a series of shapes. You've got straight parts, and these bits are kind of like little W's. Another straight section, and another W. That way you can break down our difficult shape into ones that are easier to build. The next layer just connects all of these. And we're almost at the top of the mushroom. Build two deep, three wide, then three deep, four deep, three deep, four deep, and then rotate round to another side and do the same thing. So from the center, two deep, either side as well, and then three deep, and you can see it connects, four deep, you can see it connects, and fill in the corner. This side as well. 3 deep, 4 deep, rotate round, and do it again, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the corner. Last side. One, two, three. One, two, three, four and the corner and one more time now just fill in the top and you're done with the red bit or the shape of your mushroom time to add some spots I like to look at the build from all different angles to try and get them evenly spaced. That way you can see a spot no matter where you're looking at the build. For a real fairy cottage look, add a little dormer window to the front. Use lecterns to add the um, decoration to the window. roof. Finish it off with some slabs and then like we had down here grab some stone stairs to place underneath. 
I've added a few finishing touches with birch leaves as well as some windows on the mushroom stem. But let's see it in a beautiful garden. So there you have it. The cottage is finished. An absolutely splendid addition to your Minecraft world. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you later for more builds.